Hi guys, welcome to Memos Tutorials. Today we are revising uh, Biology Paper 1, which is just multiple choice for November 2015. Our first question today, we are given a diagram that shows three specialized cells. So you should be able to identify the cells. Number one, it's a red blood cell. Number two, it's a root hair cell. And number, C, it's a, uh, number three, it's a, it's a muscle cell. And the question asks us which row correctly describes the specialized function of the cells. So red blood cells, they are for oxygen transport. Uh, root hair cells, they are for what? Absorption of water and mineral salts. And then the muscle cell is for construction. So the correct answer becomes C. Number one, it's C. And then we go to number two. It says a fully taged plant cell in distilled water will not gain any more water because our answer is C again. There is no more space for additional water from outside the cell. Okay. And then on question number three, they said which is not a part of an enzyme. So enzymes, they lower activation energy of any metabolic reaction that they are catalyzing. They also, um, they are very protein in nature. They are 100% protein in nature. They also work best under optimum temperature and pH. They are very specific to what temperatures and pH they work at. So this makes our answer to be C. Sorry. No, our answer is B, where it says catalyzes many metabolic reactions. That's wrong because our enzymes, they are very specific. If an enzyme uh, catalyzes uh, the reaction of uh, starch to glucose, it will only do that. It will never go catalyze the other and any other reactions. So they are very, very specific, right? Question for them. We have an experiment set up. Uh, the sunlight and potassium hydroxide solution and the other flask is no carbon dioxide, is no uh, potassium hydroxide solution. And the question says, which row gives the condition being investigated in the control? So uh, the condition investigated is the one for carbon dioxide. And the control is flask M because it's having water, right? Instead of so potassium hydroxide. Potassium hydroxide, it actually um, absorbs the carbon dioxide, right? So flask L is lacking carbon dioxide. When we go to question number five, we have uh, another experimental setup and we have got a gas that is produced, we are told it's photosynthesis. And we know that the gas that is produced during photosynthesis is oxygen. And the role of sodium hydrogen carbonate there, it is a source of carbon dioxide. So our number five is A and then number four is D, 4D, 5A. And then we move on to question number six, which says, which mineral element deficiency causes poor flowering? I say it is potassium, right? And then number seven, which row correctly shows a vitamin and its associated deficiency? That's vitamin C and anemia. So number seven is B. And then number eight, the diagram shows um, the human alimentary canal. And the question then says, which row correctly shows the functions of each of the regions? Number one, two, three. Number one is the stomach. There's digestion in the stomach. Number two is the large intestines. Uh, there's absorption in the large intestines. Number three is the small intestines. There's digestion and absorption. So on our question eight, uh, our answer is A. And then number nine, the most sensitive part of a teeth uh, is its root. So um, here, A is the enamel is not sensitive. So B, C, B and C, they are very sensitive. D, those are gums, right? So we'll take uh, B here because once your enamel has been cracked, you reach B, it's very, very sensitive and then you'll be in so much pain. C, that's where we have our nerves there. So for number 10, they said which one is not a function of the hydrochloric acid in the stomach? It's D, X as a buffer. Hydrochloric acid is not a buffer, right? And question 11 is an experimental setup again. And then they want us to show the inlet, outlet, and where 
uh, the lime water will turn milky. Please pay attention to this one. Uh, the inlet is L. That is where air from the atmosphere enters the lime water because the tube at L is very long. It, it, it will enter the lime water. So when the person breathes in, they are going to breathe in air that has entered through L. Uh, when the person breathes out, right? When they breathe out, their air will go all the way into um, test tube X. Their air will go into test tube X in that lime water. The reason why I'm saying that is because that tube is very long and getting into the lime water. So the air they breathe out will enter that um, lime water in test tube X. <clears throat> and that lime water is the one that is going to turn milky because it's the one that is receiving a high concentration of carbon dioxide. I hope you remember that when we breathe out, we are breathing out a higher concentration of carbon dioxide, right? And then the outlet, the air will go out through K, okay? So our answer for number 11 is L, it's A, inlet L, outlet K, turns milky, test tube X. And then question 12 says, why is ventilation of a gaseous exchange surface area why is ventilation of a gaseous exchange surface area necessary? Why is it important to maintain a good uh, blood flow, right? We'll take B. Uh, we'll take B. That's the most appropriate for question 12. Question 18. Anaerobic respiration in plants takes place in the cytoplasm, not in the mitochondria. Anaerobic simply means there is no... Uh, it's in the absence of what? of oxygen so in the absence of oxygen it takes place in the cytoplasm and the product is ethanol plants they produce ethanol lactic acid is only produced in animals right so it's number 13 d number 14 which process does not require energy it is the uptake of carbon dioxide by leaves there is no any energy required for respiration to take place right Breathing is involuntary. And then number 15, the diagram shows a section of a young dicot litmus stem. So there, most people, they struggle to identify the phloem and the xylem. Just know that uh, on that ring, your phloem is on the outer side, your xylem is on the inner part. So with that being said, our pith, we all know, it's number two. Two is the pith. Uh, three is going to be our xylem. And then number four is our cortex, and then number one is our phloem, right? So which one is this one? Number four, the pith is supposed to be number two. Pith number two, and then cortex number four, so two four, and the phloem number one. The xylem is on the inner part is number three. So it's number 15C. Number 15 is C. Question 16. They said some plant leaves are hairy. The, ro the role of the, hairy, uh, of the haze is to minimize water loss from the leaf, right? That's uh, number 16 is D. Number 17. Which row correctly identifies substances that are transported in the phloem sieve tubes in xylem vessels? The xylems, they are there to carry mineral salts and water. The phloems, they carry what? Food that is produced during photosynthesis, which is starch. So number 17 is D. Number 18, all veins carry blood towards the heart. Veins, they carry blood towards the heart. The heart. If we say they carry deoxygenated blood, we'll be lying because the pulmonary vein actually carries oxygenated blood in the umbilical vein also has oxygenated blood so all veins carry blood towards the heart number 19 the diagram shows blood components with uh, antibody the one for antibody production and the other one for phagocytic action and the other ones for blood clotting i'm sure we are all agreeing that blood clotting is between it's on uh, number three Antibody production number one, phagocytic action number two. So number 19 is A. 
Number 20, they said what type of immunity is involved when there is a transfer of antibodies from one organism to another. So from one organism to another, that's passive immunity. Passive immunity. And then uh, we'll continue from number 21 to number 40 on our next video.